Hey guys, the chickens here. We are back today, finally, with another home gym video. And in today's video, guys, I want to talk about some updates and most importantly, the Pepin Fast Series dumbbells that just seem to be looking better and better and better every time that we get a glance at these. So I know I've been saying this for a while to stay tuned and subscribe um, because we're going to be doing an initial review on them. One of the first in the world to get these things is going to be right here. So if, if it's a product you're interested in, make sure you subscribe. Um, so these are exciting for a number of different reasons, and we're going to talk about that in a sec, but also I want to go over, you know, my kind of updates, what I've been up to uh, in the home gym and that kind of stuff. So let's start off with the dumbbells. So the Fast Series dumbbells. Now, why am I so excited about these? Um, now, when I initially had planned to get adjustable dumbbells, um, at first I was going to get the, the power blocks that seemed like a good fit. I've seen too many reviews now where there was just too many people that don't like... Um, I don't know, not necessarily the uh, the handle, but it's like the, they feel like they're kind of blocked in. Um, seen some other issues, and they're also more expensive than the Fast Series are, at least for where I'm at. I don't know, shipping stuff internationally, whatever. Um, the shop's not that far from me, so I can actually go to school and pick them up. Um, but yeah, so, and they're just better. Like, they're just better. They're steel. They've got real knurling. Um, and we've recently seen them uh, come out with a couple teasers, which I'll throw throw up in uh, this video at some point. Um, but they just, like, the, the look of them, they look awesome. Um, they have the selectorized change with engraved markings on the side so you can see exactly um, where you're switching the weight to. It's clearly labeled. You're not guessing with colors or bands or loose things. It's all very sturdy, solid construction, it looks like. Um, this is all just based on the stuff that I've seen. I don't have them in my hands just yet, but we will soon. Um, but yeah, so based on all of that, and I think really the adjustable dumbbell is one of the most important pieces for a home gym because you can do so many accessories with them. Like they're fun to use. Um, I mean, you can only use a barbell for so much stuff before you get sick of using them. And yeah. Um, so again, I'm really excited for these to come out and uh, th there's been so many adjustable dumbbells come out recently or there's just so many good options on the market. So it's like, how do you determine what's best for you? I think, you know, to put it simply, um, you guys know the, the, the fancy ones that with like the click lock change, but they only go up to 80 pounds. Um, but I would suggest those for most people because they are fairly cheap. I mean, it's you're going to be over a thousand bucks any way you cut it when you look at a good set of adjustable dumbbells. But you compare that to a rack. I had a, a really good price on a, a full rack of dumbbells up to a hundred pounds. It still came out to over four grand by the time you throw in tax and shipping. Um, and that was a really good price. And that was like during the, the height of the pandemic too. So they were hard to find. Um, but yeah, it sucks not having dumbbells. It really sucks because there's so much you can do with them. You don't have to have them for sure, but they're just one of those things. They're really nice to have as an accessory piece. Um, so yeah, um, so how do you pick what's right for you? I think, you know, it comes down to how much weight you're moving, what you're willing to pay, and how quickly the uh, increment changes bothers you. So for me, that's something that I've noticed that I would spend more money on something that I can simply set up and go quickly, which you can see from my gym, I have a standalone bench press and a standalone squat rack. I don't want to have to move stuff back and forth. I find it annoying and time consuming and I'm already tripping over myself enough in here as it is. I don't need to be doing that anymore. Um, the thing is with, uh, you know, with, with the change, the change outs, a lot of them are fast. Some of them are kind of cumbersome and some of them look tricky. Like I know even Pepin has the, or not Pepin, but um, it's like the badass style where you screw them in. Like the, it's, it's like a better version of a spin lock, which is cool too. Um, and you know, you have that option to, to do that as well if you don't want to spend. Um, not that it's not in your budget, if you just don't want to spend that much money when you can, you, you know, use the spin lock the most, then go for that and, you know, more power to you. That, that makes sense for a lot of people as well. But um, yeah, I think these, based on the price, based on the features, based on the build quality, are the best adjustable dumbbells on the market for that price. You know, we can get into talks about who's better at the top, blah, blah, blah. Who cares? This is the best bang for the buck, and I think that's what matters to most people out there. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Now the next thing I gotta figure out is where I'm gonna put these guys, because I actually have, now we'll talk about some gym updates. Um, I am pretty sure I'm getting a, um, 
It's like a, do you call it selectorized? Selectorized um, leg extension and hamstring curl. Because I just feel like I'm missing something for legs. Like the squats are great. The belt squat is awesome. You can do a lot with that. Um, but I feel like, uh, you know, I'm just missing that machine, the leg extension and the hamstring curl. It's just something that I, that I miss having the routine. And yeah, it's just easy too. It's not a barbell movement. Um, so I think that would be very nice to have down here. The thing is, it's very big and I only have two ways to access the basement and one's through a door through a storm cellar and it's pretty tight. I don't know if I can fit it through there, but the other one's through a rackety old set of stairs and I really don't want to test them by bringing down this piece of equipment that's like 350, 400 pounds. Um, so that's what I got to figure out before I get that. But I'll talk more about that once I actually know what's happening and get it, you know, ordered up and all that stuff. But, uh, but yeah, I'm thinking what I'm going to do is I'll probably just put a dumbbell stand somewhere in there for now. Um, ideally that's where the, that's where the leg machine would go. I mean, I could put it back here, but oh my God, such a pain in the ass moving everything around. Right. Um, but yeah. And then over here, you can see by the low rumbling sound, I've actually made a little change to my mechanical stuff. Um, this is where I keep my minnows. So I'll show you guys this. It's not really home gym related, I guess, but, um, I got a nice little bubbler set up right in there. Keeps them nice and swimming and happy. And yeah. So if you're noticing some noises in the background, that's from those guys right there. Yeah, hobbies, right? You can't have too many of them. Actually, yeah, you can. Um, so yeah, that's basically where I'm at, guys. A little update on the gym. Uh, workouts have been going really well lately. Um, yeah, it's just between, I had COVID there for a minute. Um, not to make excuses, it's just my training was going good and then something happened, going good and then something happening. So I'm, I really feel like I've hit a good stride lately. And I also want to uh, announce that I am gonna be competing in the garage gym competition. Um, it's, it's pretty straightforward to do that. Um, I'll probably make a separate video on that at some point, just like to document my training and that kind of thing would be cool. But um, yeah, it's basically for people with home gyms that want to do a virtual uh, powerlifting meet. So it's kind of cool. Um, and I'm doing a little like peaking slash strength block, whatever, just lifting weights um, to get ready for that. And I don't think I'm going to be able to hit my best numbers, but I'm hoping to be able to get back to where I was um, before. And yeah, so that's the chickens home gym training updates and general updates and a little update on the, the pep and fast bells. So uh, dumbbell fast series. I get the name right but uh, either way let me know let me know in the comments what you guys think of that down below in the comment section as always guys thank you so much for watching that is gonna wrap it up for the video today make sure to leave a like if you found it interesting entertaining or informative we will catch you in the next one